Many people are leaving their professional jobs and they are getting into farming. And one of the biggest ventures now that is attracting a lot of people is rabbit farming. Rabbit farming comes with its appealing benefits that you can be able to get if you commercially join the industry. Now let's say that you are one of these people that have been thinking about getting into rabbit farming. So guys, this is an ultimate guide for anyone who may want to get into rabbit farming. We are going to be taking you through the different steps that you should take and the different factors that you should look at to make you succeed as you enter this new farming venture. So guys, if you're a beginner and you want to start your rabbit farm, or even if you have started but you want to improve and be able to succeed on your farm, then guys, this video is for you. And make sure that you watch it from beginning to end. So the first thing, guys, you're going to understand is what is rabbit farming all about. So you have to understand what rabbit farming is all about to be able to know what you're supposed to do when you're starting. So guys, rabbit farming is just like any other animal venture that you can venture into. Though it has its own specific features that you as a new entrant must be well conversant with. So for you to be able to engage into rabbit farming, you're going to need the rabbits. So that is one of the first steps that you will consider. Then you also need a structure where these rabbits are going to reside. You're going to need the feeds that you'll be feeding these rabbits. Then you're also going to need space where you can be able to house these rabbits. And you will also need the knowledge on how you can be able to care for these rabbits. So rabbit farming entails a variety of aspects that you have to make yourself covers and with before you start. Then also guys, you should know that rabbit farming has different kinds of benefits that you can get out of it. So you can look at meat production, which is one of the lucrative business ventures that you can get into right now. Then you can also look at fur production. Then also you can look at the pet market as these rabbits can be reared and sold as as pets so guys there are a range of different benefits that you'll be able to get from rabbit farming so now guys let us start and tackle these aspects one by one and guys i can promise you at the end of this video you will have understood the concept of rabbit farming and if you're just a new entrant that is entering into into this business venture you will have the required knowledge to be able to start and succeed so the first step you're going to look at is choosing your breeds at the farm. So as a new entrant, make sure that you're choosing the right breeds. Remember, these breeds are going to determine how your farm performs. So in rabbit farming, we have different kinds of breeds and these are reared for different purposes. So like here on our farm, we generally rear our rabbits for rabbit meat production. So when we are considering our breeds that we rear on the farm, we shall have that in mind because that is the reason why we are rearing these rabbits. That's why here on our farm, you will generally see breeds like the checkered giants because these are rabbits that are large in size. You will also see the New Zealand white. Then we also rear some Palamino rabbits. Then also we have California rabbit and some American chinchilla. So you are looking at our breeds. All these breeds we are rearing on our farm have a main special characteristic that is they are large in size. And since we are rearing our breeds for meat production, we want breeds that can grow fast and gain a lot of weight within a short period of time. So when you're starting or you're entering into rabbit farming, you're going to Put a lot of emphasis on the breeds that you select to rear on your farm. Make sure that you're well conversant with the breeds. You know the different features of each breed so that you are able to select the right breed for your farm. So guys, after you have looked at the breed aspect, then you are going to look at the housing and the habitat of your rabbits on the farm. Now this is very key. Rabbits need a well organized and comfortable living environment for you to be able to succeed in rabbit farming you will make sure that you have constructed well structured structures for your rabbits they are spacious enough they are well ventilated for free flow of air in and out and they are easy to clean 
So this is very key. The moment you do not have good structures on your farm, then you're going to get a lot of challenges on your farm. So as a new entrant within rabbit farming, make sure that you have a well thought out plan for your structures on the farm. You have allocated some resources to be able to construct these structures. And remember, as I've said, make sure that your structures are well spacious enough they are well ventilated to allow in this free flow of air in and out. They are able to protect your rabbits from harsh weather conditions, let me say high temperatures, excessive rainfall. And also these structures are strong enough that they can protect your animals or your rabbits from different kinds of predators that may want to prey on these rabbits. Then remember, don't forget the sanitation or the hygiene aspects of these structures. Make sure that you construct structures that are easy to clean. That's why here on our farm, we generally use a wire mesh to construct our structures. Because a wire mesh helps us in cleaning of these cages. So make sure that when you're constructing these structures, you have that in mind. Then guys, the other thing you're going to look at is the nutrition and feeding on your farm. This is very key because this is going to determine the performance of your rabbits on the farm. Remember, if your rabbits are malnourished on the farm, they will not be able to perform very well. So make sure that you have a well thought out plan of your feeding schedules. And on the farm, you can feed your rabbits on different kinds of feeds. But the only advice I can give you here is I would recommend that you feed your rabbits on a significant percentage of hay. Make sure that your rabbit diet has at least 80% hay, then you can supplement with other different kinds of feeds. Hay is very important when it comes to rabbit diet. It will help to sort out the, the digestive system of these rabbits. It will also help in building the body muscles of these rabbits. But also don't forget that this hay will keep your rabbits busy as these rabbits will be chewing on this hay all the time because you will leave it in their cages. So make sure that you have a ballast diet on your farm so you can have a combination of hay, supplement it with some leafy green grass. You can also add on some fresh vegetables, some pellets, so depending on which diet you choose to implement on your farm, but make sure that this diet is on point because it is going to determine the growth rate of your rabbits, the reproduction rate of these rabbits on the farm, and it will also determine how, you, how big or the size of your rabbits on the farm. So this is very key. But remember, rabbit diet includes the hydration of your rabbits. So make sure that on your farm, you have a water system that supplies water to your rabbits. And guys, make sure that this water is clean, safe water. As if you give your rabbits contaminated water, this will also bring you challenges. So remember, rabbits need to be hydrated all the time. So make sure that you have a water system on your farm to be able to supply water to your rabbits all the time. Here on our farm, we have an automated water system that is able to supply our rabbits with water at all times. Then guys, you're going to look at the breeding and the reproduction of your rabbits. So guys, make sure that you understand the reproduction cycle of these rabbits, the mating process of these rabbits. Make sure that you're choosing the right pairs of rabbits to be able to mate. So don't just get any pairs and combine them and make them to mate. Make sure that you're selecting these pairs carefully. Then also learn on how to be able to take care of the newborn kids. Because when these rabbits give birth, you should be able to take care of these newly born kids. So the breeding pairs on your farm are going to determine the type of rabbits that you rear on your farm. So selecting these ones carefully is going to be very key. Make sure that you're mating the good breeds together so that you are able to accumulate the good breeds on the farm and also try to learn on how, on which breeds performs better in different kinds of aspects. So you can find out that the checkered giants are good when it comes to meat production. So if you are into that line, make sure that you're breeding your rabbits in that kind of line. Then guys, the other thing you're going to look at is the health 
care and the disease prevention on your farm so now this before you even start you have to look at this because this is going to determine whether you succeed or you fail on your farm maintaining your rabbits healthy on the farm is going to make them productive but also this will prevent your rabbits from dying from different kinds of diseases so for you to be able to accumulate numbers on your rabbits you will have to make sure that you are preventing these diseases on your farm so healthcare will evolve these regular health checks so you should always check on your rabbits to see which rabbit is well and which rabbit is sick and in most cases if you if you get a sick rabbit it is very good to isolate it from your healthy stock of rabbit because when you leave these sick rabbits within your general stock there is high chances of these rabbits spreading the sickness to your other rabbits so in most cases get some isolated cages to be able to house these sick rabbits and you treat them from there then also you will need to control parasites on the farm and control of parasites will entail the good hygiene that i talked about on the farm when your hygiene on the farm is bad or the cleanliness is bad on the farm it is going to attract these parasites so make sure that your sanitation or your hygiene on the farm is on point this will help you in keeping these parasites out of your farm but also you can do deworming of your rabbits deworming of your rabbits will clean these parasites out of the body of these rabbits so make sure that on the farm you have these common remedies that you can be able to give your rabbits if at all they get sick and also once in a while you can seek expert knowledge from a veterinary officer to be able to come and check on your farm this can also greatly help you in improving the health care and disease prevention on your farm then also guys the other aspect you're going to look at is the marketing and the sales promotion because remember as your farm picks up you will need to make money you will need to sell the products that you make on your farm so if you are into meat production you will need to have market for this meat so make sure that you have strategies for selling your rabbit products so remember these products can be meat it can be far it can be pets so make sure that you have a viable strategy that will help you in selling this and the important thing with rabbit farming is that the products from rabbit farming have readily available market out there you can be able to sell rabbit meat so easily as this meat is highly regarded in the market it is one of the best meats in the world recommended by a lot of health practitioners because it is low in fats so these products you can readily sell them but to be able to sell these products you will need a strategy you will need a market strategy that will help you reach different kinds of customers and be able to sell these products then of course the obvious thing is you have to look at the regulation and the legal consideration in your locality so don't just start a rabbit farm without getting in touch with your local authority because in some areas there are restrictions on how many number of animals that you can house in a space when it comes to the waste management system the authorities will need to know how you're going to take care of these wastes from the farm some areas you may need licenses to be able to start a farming venture or a, a rabbit farm so make sure that you are well covered and with these regulations within your location and you are in touch with your local authorities this will help you from disruptions within the future because you can start without this authorization then the authorities will come and close your farm which will be inconveniencing you so make sure that you have looked at this and you have taken the initiative to be able to contact these authorities and the permissions have been given to you to be able to start so guys once you do this you will be able to succeed and move miles within rabbit farming but then the other aspect that i would encourage you to do is resource and further learning so you will need to mobilize more resources to be able to keep the farm running and always looking for more knowledge to be able to support your farm 
so guys this you can get this knowledge from experienced farmers you can visit farms or farmers that have been successful you can read different ki kinds of articles online you can watch videos tutorials to be able to gain this knowledge then mobilization of resources now this is where the marketing and sales promotion comes in you should be able to make more money from the products that you're already producing on the farm and this money will help you in running your farm and also expanding this farm so this is not going to stop you will keep mobilizing resources and learning every day to be able to improve your farm so guys if you're looking at starting a rabbit farm i would encourage you to start but make sure that you start this farm responsibly so guys make sure that you consider the welfare of these animals and all these things that we have talked about in this video and i can assure you you will be able to succeed and be able to start and run your farm successfully so guys this is it if you have loved this video please subscribe to our channel like and share the video and if you have any other topic that you would love us to cover please leave it in the comment section below and if you have any other questions about these topics we have covered in this video please do not hesitate also put it in the comment section below and we shall be able to reply to these questions and guys as always i'll see you in the next video